Hey guys, Leon here from Hair God, and today in this video, we are going to be looking at the vellus hair. What you're going to learn about in this video is we're going to look at what vellus hair is. We're going to look at the vellus hair growth cycle. We're going to answer the question of whether or not vellus hair can become terminal. Then we're going to look at how to turn vellus into terminal hair. And then we've got a brief conclusion for you. Just before we get into the video on vellus hair, if you are new to the channel, we make tons of science-backed YouTube videos all about how you can regrow healthy hair. So if you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe. Now, there's a belief that hair loss leads to a total lack of hair. And while this is certainly true in most cases, many individuals will first revert from terminal to vellus hair before the hair follicle completely dies. In this video, we will take a look at what vellus hair is and how it comes to grow within your follicles after balding takes place. In addition, you'll learn the steps you can take to reverse the effects of hair loss and convert vellus hair back to terminal hair. So first guys, what is vellus hair? Vellus hair is short, thin, lightly colored hair that develops on the human body in childhood. This type of hair is common in both men and women, though it's more noticeable in women and it is a natural occurrence. All hair goes through a growth cycle. However, vellus hair cycle differs significantly and is triggered by a different process. So to understand vellus hair, we're now gonna have a look at the vellus hair growth cycle. To get a better idea of how vellus hair develops and why vellus can replace a terminal in the event of hair loss, it helps to understand each of the body's main hair types. The first is lanugo. This hair is the first hair produced by fetal hair follicles and is present on the fetus from about 16 weeks to anywhere from 33 weeks to birth. Then we've got uh, the vellus hair. This hair replaces lanugo and is commonly referred to as peach fuzz. It's present in children and adults and is essential for temperature control and sensory awareness. Then we've got the terminal hair. This hair is also present in both children and adults there is more abundant in those who have reached the age of puberty and beyond. This is the type of hair found on the head and is thicker, darker and fuller than both lanugo and vellus hair. With a better understanding of the three main types, it's a bit easier to see how vellus hair transforms. So it's done through puberty, more specifically the androgens that are produced during this time, and its transition from vellus to terminal is dependent on a number of factors. These include hormone levels and genetics. So. Can vellus hair become terminal? One of the big questions you may have is whether vellus hair can turn into terminal hair. The answer is a bit complicated, so let's take a look. As mentioned, vellus hair is present on the bodies of both men and women. For the most part in women, the hair remains slight, light colored and short. In men, however, the androgens that are produced can turn from vellus to terminal. The changes are particularly noticeable with facial hair namely in the beard and moustache regions. However, at this stage in puberty, you will also begin to grow hair in the armpits and pubic area. So the answer to the initial question is yes, vellus hair can, and in the case of puberty, does become terminal. But what if this type of hair is present due to alopecia? Can it then be turned back? The answer to this question is a bit more complicated. For now, I'll just say that the turning of hairs from vellus to terminal may be possible, and this is because the process isn't an exact science. There are plenty of factors that come into play, namely hormones and genetics, and this means the process can be hit or miss. So let's look now how you can actually turn vellus hairs into terminal hairs. Depending on how far your hair loss has progressed, you may be able to turn vellus into terminal hair. Consider that vellus and terminal hairs are both produced from the same follicle. This means that a follicle that once contained hairs which were vellus can contain terminal and vice versa. This is good news, especially because in the majority of men with androgenetic alopecia, also known as male pattern baldness, their hair progresses from terminal to vellus. This means that reversal may be possible. If you're looking to replace vellus with terminal, however, one thing is for sure. Your scalp's follicle needs to be healthy and strong, and there's a number of things you can do to ensure this. One of the most important points to remember is that the follicle needs blood flow. 
The blood contains the nutritive substances that allow the follicle to grow. And you can see the diagram on the right where the hair bulb is connected directly to the veins and arteries. With the reduced blood flow, the hair follicle starts to turn from terminal into vellus. So we're going to show you a few ways now that can help you actually reverse the process. The first is to remove DHT from your scalp. DHT is the culprit when it comes to thinning and balding related to androgenetic alopecia. As this condition leads to hair follicle miniaturization and eventually the changing of terminal to vellus hairs, then removing DHT is a good first step. By far the most effective way to remove DHT is to use a homemade scalp exfoliate. This will gently and remove any natural, uh, naturally remove the plaque, making the method more effective. It's safe to use this exfoliate mixture on the scalp because the hair follicle roots grow from much deeper in the scalp, so it won't cause any kind of damage to the follicles themselves in any way. And besides, these are all natural ingredients. To make this, you're going to need some Himalayan or Celtic sea salt, some powdered activated charcoal, some ginger, some cucumber, some lemon juice, and either a juicing machine or a blender and some muslin cloth. What you want to do is take half a tablespoon of salt, one teaspoon of powdered activated charcoal, and approximately 100 milliliter of mixed ginger and cucumber juice, and the juice of one whole lemon. Simply to make the cucumber and ginger juice, you will need a juicing machine, and it's a very good idea to get a hold of one anyway, since vegetable juices can help to alkalize your body, which has a whole spectrum of knock-on effects that will improve your hair health. If you don't yet have a juicer, you can always use an electric blender. Simply take a large handful of ginger chunks and put them in on a high speed blender along with a whole cucumber. Squeeze in the juice of a whole lemon and then blend up the mixture without water or you can add a small amount of water if it's too dry. Then take the mixture and remove the pulp using a muslin cloth or equivalent. This will remove all the pulp and fiber, just leaving the cleansing liquid. Combine all of the ingredients in a small plastic bottle such as a used shampoo bottle and shake thoroughly until well mixed. Then apply the mixture to the area of the scalp that you want to regrow and gently massage it into the region. Then leave the mixture to sit on the scalp as the lemon and ginger break up the plaque. Once gently massaged in, let the mixture sit on the skin for 5-10 to 10 minutes before rinsing it out with warm but not hot water. It varies from person to person, but there's a good chance you will need a few peels to fully remove the plaque. Repeat the procedure until you feel like the plaque has been removed. And you can also aid this process by brushing away the flakes that fall off with a hairbrush, which also helps declog the pores. The next thing you can do is use a DHT blocking shampoo. Just as it sounds, a DHT blocker shampoo is a formulation which contains DHT blocking ingredients. These work to remove DHT at the scalp. There are some of these ingredients which are more mainstream, including biotin and vitamin B12. However, a lot of these shampoos also use experimental ingredients, such as saw palmetto and pumpkin seed oil. And while many of these ingredients do still need further research to back their DHT blocking claims, these formulations, including the Hair Guard Caffeine Shampoo, can be a beneficial addition to your hair care routine. The next thing you can do is stimulate new hair growth. When your follicles have been miniaturized from hair loss, the best thing you can do is stimulate them. This can lead to the growth of new hair and there are a number of stimulation methods that are easy to incorporate into your regular hair care routine. The first is doing massage and scalp exercises. As you can imagine, circulation of blood to the scalp is essential for hair growth. This is because circulation delivers nutrients and oxygen to the follicles both of which are necessary for hair health. Fortunately, increasing circulation to the scalp is simple with massage and scalp exercises. Massage is the manual manipulation of your scalp with fingers. All you need to do is use your fingers to rub in a circular motion, beginning at the crown and working towards the sides and back, and perform for 5-10 to 10 minutes each day. Of course, you can also practice hands-free manipulation of the scalp uh, with do anywhere scalp exercises. This simply involves the stretching and tensing of the scalp muscles done by moving your eyebrows up and down and will go a long way in relieving tension and even perhaps stress. The next thing you can do is utilize a micro needling therapy. 
Now, this is a method which can certainly fall under scalp stimulation. However, we, we believe that it deserves its own how-to section because it's a treatment that is highly recommended. Now, to begin, let's first define microneedling. Microneedling is a stimulation method that uses pin-sized needles to injure the skin. When done right, the therapy should be painless. This method works incredibly well to stimulate new hair growth as it triggers a trauma response by the body. This results in inflammation of the injured skin, proliferation of new skin cells and remodeling of the injured area. While you can see a professional for microneedling therapy, as is commonly the case for individuals who are using this treatment method for acne or scarring, you can also perform this treatment at home with the use of a derma roller. Just before we go any further, if you want to claim your free derma roller, I put a link for you in the description and you can go ahead and get your free derma roller. So make sure to go and check that out. Now, while a number of factors will ultimately play a role in the transition of hair from vellus to terminal, especially hormones and genetics, you can certainly help it uh, along by creating a healthy scalp and stimulating your hair follicles. Of course, the transition isn't guaranteed, but that doesn't mean that the methods outlined above aren't worth a shot. The simple truth is you can reverse hair loss by treating the underlying problem, and the above mentioned methods can do just that for many individuals, especially those with male pattern baldness. So guys, that's what we wanted to share with you today on Vellus Hair. Remember, if you want your derma roller, I'll leave a link for you in the description. Make sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.